now, preview time. So let's take a look at what's coming your way.
What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another brand new installment of Renegade Reviews, exclusively here as always on the Casa D18 Studios channel. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade JJ Williams, and it's the first of the month, so it's time for a new theme. This month, we're going to be discussing movies that star WWE Hall of Famers, and we're kicking things off with Lipstick and Dynamite, the first ladies of wrestling. Starring L.C. Shevchaika, a.k.a. Ella Waldeck, Ida Mae Martinez, Marianne Kostecki, a.k.a. Penny Banner, Gladys Gillum, a.k.a. Gladys Killam Gillum, and WWE Hall of Famers Lillian Ellison, better known as the Fabulous Mula, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1995. And Johnny May Young, better known, of course, as May Young, inducted in the class of 2008 WWE Hall of Fame. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me here once again for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. I, of course, am your host, the Renegade J.J. Williams. And today we kick off a new month, a new theme, as I said in the introduction, we're going to be taking a look at movies that star WWE Hall of Famers. And this documentary we're going to cover today, Lipstick and Dynamite, The First Ladies of Wrestling, features two WWE Hall of Fame women, the fabulous Mula and Mae Young. And as I stated, our movie today is a documentary that focuses on the careers of six women, Ella Waldeck, Ida Mae Martinez, Penny Banner, Gladys Killam Gillum, Mae Young, and the Fabulous Mula. And it begins by describing the beginnings of professional wrestling. In 1939, the women moved from the carnivals into the ring due to the fact that the American men had to leave the country in order to fight in World War II. At first, Women's wrestling was just seen as a sideshow attraction, causing it to get banned in several states. Our movie focuses primarily on these years, the 1940s, with some references to the 50s and the 60s, better known as the heyday of women's wrestling, when the sport became more accepted and popular. The six women tell their stories about how and why they entered the world of professional wrestling. The girls discuss promoters, Jack Pfeffer, Johnny Ward, Billy Wolf, Juanita, and Vince McMahon Sr., as well as the younger Vince McMahon, who we all know today. The women also shared tales of being exploited financially, unruly fans, and being physically abused. The girls also discuss their post wrestling careers, a lion tamer, a detective, a nurse, and a yodeler, while Mula and May pretty much wrestled until their deaths. We see classic footage of Judy Grable on What's My Line, Gladys on You Bet Your Life with Bill Cosby, and the fabulous Mula on To Tell the Truth, all representing their craft during the time of their appearances. The women then all convene at the Gulf Coast Wrestlers Reunion to swap stories as our movie comes to its end. This one is probably going to be a really short one today. Wasn't a whole lot to the synopsis. Everything that was described is pretty much what happened. They didn't go into too much of interest and topic. Things that would be, you know, hard button issues to discuss here kept it pretty simple while being entertaining. Um, it's always fun to look at these type of things and get a little bit of a history of the sport and where some of the other people come from. Obviously, any WWE fan of the last 25 years probably knows who the fabulous Mula and Mae Young are. But the other four women, virtual unknowns to us on a mainstream level. Because once 
the heyday of women's wrestling died down there in the 60s before its real resurgence there in the 80s with Wendy Richter and Leilani Kai and Sensational Sherry, and then into the 90s with Alundra Blaze, Sable Jacqueline, Bonacano, you know, those type of women. And then into the modern era, you know, you think of Trish Stratus and Lita and Victoria and Molly Holly and Ivory and Michelle McCool and Layla. And, you know, the list goes on and on. But there was probably a good 20 something year gap there between the heyday and the 80s. And these women just kind of fizzled out. So we need more things like this to kind of tell their stories. And it's very interesting to see. This is probably the second, maybe even the third time I've seen this film. It's definitely a good watch. I highly recommend it. Anytime I get the opportunity to check it out, I do so. And I highly recommend that you guys look it up as well. Lipstick and Dynamite, the first ladies of professional wrestling. When it comes to my rating for this one, I give it three and a half stars just because I feel like they could have gotten a little bit more personal. They could have gotten a little bit deeper into personal issues, you know, instead of a fluff piece, if you will. You know, the the most personal that I got was women talking about their being abused, which I'm not trying to place light to. That's definitely a personal topic. But we we kind of knew that this was a male-dominated sport, especially in those years. So to hear that some of these women were abused in the sport and abused by the men, while tragic, isn't very surprising, as sad as that is to say. But I wish we could have gotten more personal. I wish there had been some legitimate heat between some of these people. You know, for every woman on the screen that said they hated Fabulous Moolah when they got to the reunion, they're hugging her and kissing her ass. So how much do they really hate her? How much of it is being fabricated for the movie? You know what I mean? Things like that. I definitely feel it's entertaining. I definitely feel it's worth the watch. And especially if you've never seen it before, I highly recommend that you guys check it out. And make sure you guys tune in on Friday right here to the Casa D18 Studios channel for another brand new installment of Renegades Reviews. And we're going to be taking a look at a cheese-tastic 80s film entitled Body Slam, starring Dirk Benedict, Kelly Martin, Tanya Roberts, Charles Nelson Riley, Billy Barty, John Astin, and John Fujioka, as well as WWE Hall of Famers, Captain Lou Albano, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and the Wild Samoans, Afa and Sika Anoa'i. You're not going to want to miss out on that. Right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel, on Renegades Reviews, another brand new installment, a brand new movie we're going to be discussing here, classic 80s film body slam. You don't want to miss that. So make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss out anytime a video drops right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel or anytime we go live, as is the case with Stat Boy Sports Bar, Open Mic Night, Pay-Per-View PLE coverage, etc. Share these videos with your family, friends, loved ones, co-workers, movie fanatics, cinephiles in your life. Fans of professional wrestling, fans of women's wrestling, fans of the fabulous Mula or Mae Yun, anybody you can think of that would enjoy this content and this video, share it with them. It's the only way we're going to boost up my visibility in YouTube's algorithms so I can eventually get monetized and begin making some money on the hard work I've been putting into this channel for the last two years. Thank you once again to everyone who joined me and tuned in today. It means so much more to me than you'll ever know. And I will see you guys next time.